Hey y'all, today on the farm, we're about to make a video that me and Adam from Elite Ag have been talking about making for a long time, about four months, three or yep, four months. Yep. We got a brand new implement that's gonna work really great for vegetable farming and for people that wanna do organic, uh, no spray stuff. Adam come to me with this uh, idea for this machine on, the, on one of the videos a while back and we've been waiting for the opportunity. The opportunity's now gotten here. I have butter beans that are about knee high they have weeds in them and I cannot spray herbicides over top of my butter beans. It'll kill the butter beans, but I do need to get rid of my weeds. So Adam has bought this to the farm and tell me what is this? So technically we're going to call this mechanical weeding. So it's, uh, and it is the original company was Steckity out of the Netherlands, Holland. Uh, it was bought out several years back by Lemkin. So the same, uh, compactor we ran this spring, so uh, owns uh, Lemkin. So these things will be coming in blue here for long, for long. But uh, so this is a a row cultivator that can cultivate any crops just like we used to do way back in the 70s. But so we can set this thing up with this toolbar here, the configuration of it. And we can slide it and set it to any any row spacing, any set of whether we're on beds or planting flat, and that kind of stuff. And we're going to mount a camera on it here in a minute. And so you don't even have to have GPS. This machine is actually going to follow the row for you. And y'all saw me touch on that with the last video. I was having to drive with the Gen 1 uh, guidance, which is just a rod that sticks down above the row. And you look at that rod to make sure you're riding on the road. With this, you don't have to have guidance in the tractor. The system itself has built-in guidance, so it won't plow the rows. It won't plow the crop up. There's a camera that's identifying what the crop is. And as your tractor may move off the row or not perfectly in line with the row, this implement will pivot. The, the back part with the sweeps on it will actually move side to side to match where it needs to be to prevent you from plowing up your crop. I'm not saying that this is the most high tech tractor in the world currently but this is the most high-tech tractor in southwest georgia on thursday afternoon in july we got all sorts of monitors screens computers manual joysticks if it's a bell and a whistle this little john deere's got it in it uh, adam made a comment you can tell what the most important tractor on the farm is <laughs> this this be that tractor the 6115 m john deere i've got everything in it that you can put in it if you're wondering what all this tech is these are my spray controls spray monitor spray controls this is the guidance the uh, green star guidance this is my bell monitors for when bell and hay and this is the weeder uh monitor for operating the uh digital weeder we're about to run this machine has individual row depth settings so you can crank this crank here i can lower these three sweeps down lower and uh i can set my my tension on each row and my depth on each row uniquely you can also adjust my sweeps in or out to get a different width of row and so each row is controlled on its own so you can get everything precisely the way you need it in your field for your application one issue we run into in South Georgia farming red clay is when we run a plow, sometimes the ground is hard and the, and the plow wants to slide across the stop instead of, across the top instead of digging in. But then if it ever breaks that crust, it sucks in real hard. And uh, that, that can be an issue. So to remedy that issue on this particular plow, they put a wheel out in front, a gauge wheel out in front. And so this plow can't suck in, this wheel's gonna keep it from sucking in. You can set your depth and the plow once it bites and grabs it can't suck in and, and nose over because this wheel is going to help control the even depth instead of if you run a plow before in the past you know it's hard to keep it the same depth but we have gauge wheel on each separate row unit so we're controlling each row unit's uh depth uniformly across the length of the field i've used this crank right here to adjust each one of my wheels i got a little setting right here between six and seven that's determining my height right here, about two inches off the ground. That's how deep I want this plow to run. So I've set my gauge wheel on each row unit about two inches off the ground.
we're running the row fingers up position. If you have smaller plants, you would put these row fingers down and they would get right next to the plant and weed in between them. We're running them into up position because my plants are larger. You see some of this grass still sitting here, but it's been undercut. It'll wilt before the day's over. It's, it's about 90 degrees out here. And so all that grass right here in the row has been, had its roots undercut and it'll wilt uh, in a few hours out here. Adam is manually driving the tractor and the hydraulics is adjusting it moving is moving it back and forth so he, he doesn't have to use gps he, he just drives the tractor itself and the camera on this machine has trained this machine to recognize when he's getting too close or too far away from the road and it moves the back half of that machine from left to right automatically we set the sweeps where we got about an inch and a half between the outside sweep in the row and an inch and a half on the other side so he's got three inches to play with and that machine is staying right in that zone sweeping all the uh, weeds and grasses out. You see, he passed right through. He didn't hurt the, the rose, but he undercut the grass. It's sitting here on top. That grass is as good as gone. All right, Adam, show me, tell, tell us what we're looking at here on the TV screen. So right now we've kind of got it on the infrared. So kind of the way the camera is designed and the software and the computer's designed to read the plants and determine the red spots or what's a weed and the green, the green streaks there because we have a solid row of plants is, is kind of the solid row of the butter beans. We can touch it and so there's an actual camera view of what it's looking at. So you can see the weeds passing in between the two red lines that is our so we added in the width setting of our row spacing you know what size plants we're looking at uh, so we know kind of what the width of our canopy is supposed to be and then we also trained the camera as to what the rows and what the beans look like in terms of their shape of their leaves and whatnot so it kind of knows what kind of crop we're in and what it's supposed to be looking for These plows, this whole shank right here can be slid out. And so you can slide that out on all three of them and on the front shank so that you can slide them out. So I can, I can widen my row out and sweep right up next to the butter bean plants. But I really was a little bit gun shy on getting right beside them. I was a little worried. So I set them in a little bit, gave, gave Adam a little bit of room to work with there. Uh, you could do a little bit better job if you scooted them out and got them a little closer to the plant. I'm always nervous running that sweep right up against the plant. It makes me nervous. I uh, really don't want to throw a bunch of dirt next to these plants because we harvest these, these uh, butter beans. We put that harvester on the ground almost. We're, we're running about that high off the ground. And so I don't want to throw dirt over there, but we might can run a little bit closer to the plants and get out a few more weeds. But all in all, it's, it's undercutting. 95 percent of what we got out here this machine has a little sensor on the top link right up under the top link to tell you when you to tell the computer when the implants picked up because if it doesn't tell the a computer that the implants picked up when you pick that thing up and turn around the computer's gonna start shifting that machine side side looking for the road trying to match the road and so it has to know when the implant leaves the ground so it's got a trigger on there when you leave the ground it triggers it hey machine's up in the air no need to do shifts currently and then when you let it back down it, it grabs that trigger again and tells the computer time to start shifting side to side again these two black bulges right here those two uh domes are actual lights so you can actually run this machine into the night the lights will cut on 
and so that camera can still see the plants and you can run it on around the clock if you need to weed your vegetables all at night you know whatever you, if you got a big operation you got to run or you run it after work doing it in the evenings after you worked all day then you farm in the evenings it's got lights right by the camera to illuminate the road so you can keep on running and get it done when you need to get it done so if someone is interested in one of these and I, I know the new ones are going to say Lincoln on them, they're going to be blue where do they get one and what what do you call this and where do they get it so Lemkin on the Lemkin USA's website or the German and German's website they're calling it crop care crop and food. so so it's listed under crop care Lemkin crop care and so it's got all their different from machines this is considered their EC weeder that's the name of this machine they also have an EC ridger so if you've met, planted uh, potatoes or carrots or anything like that on big deep beds mm -hmm. Uh, I've got one over over in South Alabama on some sweet potatoes. But yeah, on the back on Lemkin's website, the crop Lemkin Crop Care, and so you can find their EC uh, weeder and uh, the Ridger or their IC Light, which is a cool one that actually will weed around the individual plants on lettuce. I was telling you about earlier yeah. today that's really critical. So we don't get it, any dirt particles. It's, re it's, it's weeding in row, not in between the rows, but in the row in between each plant correct that's amazing yep so it doesn't so we're not kicking up any dirt especially like a uh, on a romaine lettuce where everything kind of grows together and that dirt's never going to be able to leave that that lettuce plant yep, yep once it gets inside the head so really critical on lettuce so but yeah so it's crop care is what it's called and that's what you'll find it on on our website Lemkin's website it's all crop care so it won't be the stickity anymore but you could look up some older videos because the company's been around for for a long time over over in Europe, Lemkin's just been able to bring it worldwide. So t tell us your, your website. Lemkin's going to give them maybe some technical info, but <laughs> they're not going to buy it from Lemkin. That's right. So I, so our website uh, at Elite Ag is eliteagco.com. You can find our information on there. Uh, we're kind of the dealer for the eastern part of the U.S., uh, so to speak. Uh, we, we've been all the way up through the east coast of New Jersey, and my partner just left New York yesterday. Uh, these are very specialized machines. Every farm that we go to has a different row spacing, yeah. uh, a different pattern. So two rows side by side on one bed, four rows on a bed, yeah. 30 inches apart, 15 inches apart. So, so everything's completely customizable. Everything is 100% customizable. We don't have any machines pre-built at our place. We actually come out, measure your planter, measure your spacing, wheel track, spacing, all that kind of stuff, and then build one for your operation that's too cool yeah th these are uh, a lot of this stuff is for the people who can't uh, spray anything because of what they're growing a lot a lot of food you know we can spray some on cotton corn soybeans peanuts but when you're growing lettuce you're growing cabbage or there's a lot of food products that you can't spray stuff on and that's really what what this is for to target these food uh, commodities that we can't spray and, and in Europe, you know, they don't have our GMO uh, corn that we can spray Roundup and stuff on. So it's a big deal over there. So you can buy a 12 row rig totally uh, that's got um, individual, we're talking about individual row lift up. So each one of these main elements back here can have a hydraulic cylinder on it. So as you get to your point rows, you end of your row, it'll lift each row unit out of the way. Uh, there's spray options on it to put down fertilizer or you can spray the middles to put down a herbicide. You can even put a hood on it uh, if you needed to design it as a hooded sprayer. So the answer, I, t I tell all the guys, the answer, you know, can can we do this? The answer is yes. Because um, Lemkin and the, the Steckity or crop care part of the company is still a small uh, business that's kind of run by itself. And if they don't have it, they'll make it. And, I, right. and we've run into that in some stuff in South Florida with some lettuce and some challenges with uh, root balls left over from sugar cane. Oh, yeah. uh, and so we come up with, uh, Leonard, one of the guys from over there in Germany, or the Netherlands, come up with five or six different sweeps and plows that we were running down the row of lettuce, trying to do it, uh, trying to eliminate manual labor. You know, if yeah, we can that, do that's, it. That's where it's at, you gotta eliminate the manual labor. Yes, sir. 10 four. well, if you wanna see one in person, Leesburg, Georgia. Travel down to Southwest Georgia. There may be one closer to you, but I know you can go to Leesburg, Georgia and see 
basically anything Lipkin's got. Yep. You can see some versatile tractors, some Massey Ferguson's. What else? You got you got stuff ain't nobody ever heard of. Either. We 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 live in the in the commercial dairy world, so feed wagons and manure tankers and and all that kind of stuff. Try to be the specialized dealer for commercial dairies, beef guys, commercial hay. So we're in row crop country and we do some tillage and stuff, but we specialize silage choppers and everything that goes along with the dairies and stuff. That's kind of the way we try to be different and be in a small individual location. Everybody knows everybody mm -hmm. customer wise and all that kind of stuff. And we kind of enjoy that too. Well, I thank all of y'all for watching. I hope you learned a little bit about some high tech weeding equipment. I sure did today. I hope to see y'all next time.